Chicago's finest. See, we are the most seasoned, unsigned artists that you should know. We are the Spike Rebel Collective. Stage to show. Come on. We would like to honor Stage to Show with our presence here this evening. And we're going to be starting this project. This is a part of the Rhythm, Blues, and Funk Foundation's mission and journey. We're to honor the pioneer artists, the legendary artists from the 60s, 70s, and early 80s that have made significant contribution to our culture, our genre, our genre and where we are in life. We're going to be hosting this year, the 4th of July weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's four days of entertainment, educational awareness, consciousness. And we have invited uh, gobs of people from all over this country. We're going to bring these pioneer artists back to the forefront of the industry called music, education, and a journey well deserved. We're starting the process that's going to give us notoriety. For those of you that might have not been around in the era of time, it was a musical phenomenon that took place back in the 60s. We're talking about 44 plus years in this journey. Something that was created called music. That music was something that created life and connected the dots. We are in the process of creating that phenomenon in this journey. We're going to take the youth here in Chicago and give them the opportunity to take part in this Midwest Vintage Woodstock phenomenon. It's this time, 44 plus years later. We have rounded up some of the most incredible artists from the 60s, 70s, and early 80s. Artists like War, Mandrill, New Birth, Bloodstone, Ray Goodman and Brown, the original lead singer of the Stylistics, and the list is going to go on and on. I'd like to introduce uh, a group of young men that I had the opportunity and pleasure to meet. We're starting the process called the documentary content series portion of this. Like anything that starts from one point to get to the next, there's a process. I'd like to introduce these young men that held here in Chicago. They go under the name of Natural Rhythm, please.
July weekend this year, the Midwest Vintage Woodstock Festival. This is just a little sample. What I like to do is probably introduce these brothers because they are working hard. Mr. Bob Davis. All right, all right. Bob Barry White. Hey, Barry. Keyboard players, lead singer. <laughs> background singer, guitar player Theo. All right, all right. Bass man, Hey. Going back there, lead singer, Larry. All right, all right. We all grew up, you know, we, um, matter of fact, we grew up in Rock and Taylor. All right. We, we come up, uh, come up, we had something to do. When we was kids, we had some place to go, Rock and Taylor Center. That's right. So that's where we started with kids learning music. All right. And uh, we've been doing that ever since. And we, all day to do sample. We, matter of fact, we do sample jazz band. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, you know, so we was number one in the city for a while. Okay, so we, oh, okay. But uh, we uh, we we branched out. We uh, started playing with different groups as we grew up, and uh, he played with Next Movement, different other groups. Mm -hmm. Traveled here, traveled out. We all did that. But uh, we all got back together about six, seven years ago. And so, so. Yeah, yeah. So it's a reunion. We just been doing it ever since. So we know we can't get away from each other. We, we like brothers anyway. So we all grew up. So, <laughs> so Claude, thanks for having me. Let's do it. All right. Now. Did you say the name of the group? Natural Rhythm. I went on a journey to find out where the artists from the 60s, 70s, and early 80s, where are they? And in my journey, I found 3,000 of them that you okay. haven't seen and heard in the last 30 to 40 years. So the passion that I have is about the spirits that I'm walking past, and there's no way, no how, am I going to walk past this kind of talent that is going to be recognized, and you heard it here first, stage two to show. Uh, the producer just walked in, and I want you people to meet this young man because this is how this is all started to take place. I wanted to find out the essence, and what you're hearing is way more than what you would hear or see on American Idol. Or voice. This is the reality that we're going to create a reality show out of what we're doing here. But this is the insert for the documentary series of this. 
we're slated to do 50 states in nine countries. Wow. And I want to make that claim right wow. here because there's no way, no how wow. you're supposed to let this kind of sit right here That's in right. Chicago. That's right. I'd like to get my uh, partner in crime, Mr. Spike oh, Rebel, oh, to come up here. All and, right, uh, Spike. Uh, how y'all doing? This is what I want you to see and hear. There's so much young, talented men and women, young men and women here in Chicago. This brother that I'm getting ready to introduce you to, he is the next Quincy Jones in the music industry. All right. Mr. Spike Rebel, yeah. I'd like to introduce these two talented young brothers that's going to take this journey with the Rhythm Blues and Funk Foundation. And the journey is going to look like the Midwest Vintage Woodstock Festival. That is going to be the catalyst, the phenomenon of our lifetime that's going to catalyst, just grab the essence of these young, talented people. We're going to be Wednesday evenings here and the journey is going to continue. This is the beginning of the documentary concert series that we want you to embrace, to see it, feel it, and understand our journey is about we, the people. I'd like to introduce Mr. Spike Rebel, Fred Keys, so you can hear the rendition of this journey. Mr. Rebel, please. Funky Mondays. That's about now I want to go to work on Mondays. <laughs> okay. This is a drum the first time. Under the back. incredible family reunion events that's going to take place. <laughs> 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 